Science, Science Terror, 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 Okay, okay, in today's lesson, we're going to be looking at exercises relating to Theorem 3, which states that the angle subtended by a diameter on the circumference of a circle is a right angle. So, for example, if we are given that DAB is a diameter, then it follows that angle BCD here is equals to 90 degrees and we state our reason as angle on a semicircle so we know that if the diameter subtends an angle um, on the circumference then it should be equals to 90 degrees note that the theorem here is saying that the the diameter has to subtend an angle on the circumference right so if it happens for example like this let's say that's your diameter but then the angle is not subtended on the circumference then it cannot be equal to 90 degrees right so note the the, the angle has to be subtended on the circumference in order to be a right angle right so without any further ado let's just get right down to the lesson or the exercises that we have Okay, now we have um, we are given that POR P, P -O -R here is a diameter. As we can see, POR is passing through the center O. Remember, O in Euclidean geometry indicates the center. So we, whenever you have O on your diagram, just know the O represents the center. So POR is a diameter. And as we can see here, this diameter will subtend an angle of 90 degrees on the circumference. Right. So the angle that will be subtended as 90 degree is Q. So we need to indicate that we say Q is equals to 90 degrees and as as our reason we say angle on a semicircle note that when we are writing a reason we, we don't have to write the full theorem but just a part of that theorem to indicate our reason so now we have q is equals to 90 degrees and as you can see here we are looking for x right so with this exercises we are looking for the missing values right then we have 90 we have 55 and then x we can use this because since we can see pqr is a right angle triangle we can use the sum of um, interior angles of a right angle triangle to get the value of x so we have x plus 90 degrees plus 55 degrees is equals to 180 degrees and the reason for this we say sum of interior angles of a triangle interior angles of a triangle now that we have that we can say x is equals to 180 degrees 90 plus 55 will give us 145 so that's minus 145 and x is equals to 35 degrees right now let's jump to b in B here, we can see that AOC is a diameter. And as we know from theorem number three, the, the diameter will subtend an angle of 90 degrees on the circumference. So in this case, B, the whole of B here will be equal to 90 degrees. So we say B is equal to 90 degrees. And the reason is angle on a semicircle so angle on a semicircle then we can just indicate b break down b so b is formed out of that's 52 degrees plus x and then that will be equals to 90 degrees now looking for x we can just say x is equals to 90 minus 52 degrees and subtracting that will give us 38 degrees right okay now let's look at c so we see we can see once again that AOC here is a diameter and then as we know it the diameter will subtend an angle of 90 degrees on the circumference so the whole of B once again is equals to 90 degrees but with this question here we can see that we now have two unknowns which is X and Y so now we can start by looking for the value of X but if we can have a look at, uh, at this here we have OB this length here is called the radius because it, start, it starts all the way from the center to the circumference, right? So a length from the center to the circumference is known as the radius, right? Also, again, we can see that we have other radii 
uh, another radius here which is OC and also another radius here which is OA. Collectively this is known as radi but then let's now focus on this uh, triangle that we have here OA b right so if you can just focus on this triangle here we can now see that we have formed an isosceles triangle here now we have x here but then the base angles of an isosceles we are told that they are equal right so if we have this side these two adjacent sides being equal then we know that base angles will be equal to each other so the base angles of an isosceles we say they are equal now in order to find the value of x we'd have to use the sum of interior angles of a triangle so by saying x plus x plus 104 degrees is equals to 180 degrees and as a reason we can say this is sum of interior angles of a triangle right so now that we have this we have x plus x this will give us 2x and then we can just transpose this 104 degrees so we have 180 degrees minus 104 degrees right so this is 2x and then subtracting this will give us 76 degrees and we can just divide both sides by 2 because we are looking for x and then our x will be equals to 38 degrees right so that's um, 38 degrees. Okay, now since we have this, this is 38 degrees, we can just fill it in here. We have 38 degrees and 38 degrees. But then remember, um, we said that AOC here is a diameter and the diameter will subtend an angle of 90 degrees on the circumference. So we know that the whole of B will be equals to 90 degrees and the reason is angle on a semicircle, right? So angle on a semicircle. But then remember we have now found the value of X. So this is just a matter of this is now just a matter of saying 38 degrees plus y must give us 90 degrees and to find the value of y we'll say y is equals to 90 minus 38 degrees and subtracting this will give us 52 degrees so we have both the value of x and y okay so looking at d we can see that now we have to um calculate for three missing angles so we have a x and y so in order to find angle a we can just use the fact that d o b here is a straight line so we know that angles that lie on a straight line must add up to 180 degrees so we can now say a plus 60 degrees is equals to 180 degrees and what's the reason for that? It's because these are angles on a straight line. Right. So to calculate for A, we just say A is equals to 180 degrees minus 60 degrees. And our A is equals to 120 degrees. Right. So after calculating, you can just fill in um, your data there so that you can see if you can use that angle. Um, in finding other angles right so okay now to calculate for x we can just use the fact that a here or this 120 degrees is subtended by the chord ad but also this x here on the circumference is subtended by the same chord ad so let's hold ad ad here subtends an angle at the center which is 120 degrees but also ad subtends an angle at the circumference which is equals to x now applying our theorem to which says an angle at the center is equals to twice an angle at the circumference we know that x here has to be equals to 60 degrees so if you haven't watched my video on theorem 2 please do check it out so this is x is equals to 60 degrees and then um the reason is angle at center is equals to two times angle at circumference right so we have this 60 here we can just fill it in here then for interest sake we can just see that ob here is a radius 
and OA there is a radius. So that means if we have 60 degrees here, um, we also have 60 degrees here. Then as you can see with this one, we have ourselves an equilateral triangle. But that is outside of the question. Let's go back to the question. Now we are looking for Y, right? So how are we going to find the value of Y? We can just use the theorem that we are currently dealing with right now, theorem number three. And with that, we can see that DOB here um, is a diameter, right? And then we know with a diameter, it will always subtend an angle of 90 degrees on the circumference. So our angle C is equals to 90 degrees and what's the reason for that we say angle on a semicircle right so angle on a semicircle that's 90 degrees but now in order to calculate y we can now use the sum of interior angles so since now we have angle c and 22 and all this is a triangle so we can say y plus 90 degrees plus 22 degrees will have to give us 180 degrees and what's the reason for that we say sum of interior angles of triangle right then calculating for y we can just say y is equal to 180 degrees then what is 90 plus 22 that's 112 so that's minus 112 and then our y is equals to 68 degrees and that's how you have it okay so if you found this video helpful please like subscribe and share the video link with your friends and classmates see you next time in another video Ra